Too much? Too, yeah, too much. We're restarting that. Today's bot podcast is sponsored by Security Unlocked, a new podcast from Microsoft focusing on artificial intelligence and machine learning in security. Check out the links down in the description below. And this is episode 999. Yeah, the number of the least. We are slightly more so. reliable than Microsoft 365. <laughs> We're three nines, Brad. Woohoo! <laughs> this was an Olympic like, event. We might get the gold. No, if it was a cloud computing event, we get the bronze. This is like Google levels of reliability. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Oracle. Maybe. I would nines. say Slack, but I think there's probably an eight involved with Slack lately. Um, but anyways. Three, three eights. <laughs> That would be good marketing. Uh, anyhow. Mm. Anyway, so here we are, our last triple-digit podcast number. Tomorrow our wives will take over the show for all of eternity. <laughs> Answer your questions. Not Paul's questions, but like the people. I understood. There's a lot of them in there. Are there? Oh, God, I haven't looked at it yet. I think that's yeah. up to like 17, 18 questions. Some people asked a bunch. Um, right, we're not going to get to all those. <laughs> yeah, so I was going to say, just fair warning to everybody, we're... They're not going to, I don't know if they're going to answer every single question, but we're going to aggregate them and try to like put them in a nice, easy to read um, format. Yeah. I mean, you know, Brad and I probably spend seven to 20 minutes on a typical mm -hmm. podcast episode. I don't think our wives would appreciate it if this turned into a two hour thing. <laughs> as much as they love working for free. Yes. Um, <laughs> But I, uh, anyway, I'll just make a note about that. Um, there's also a potential chance, I guess, tomorrow doesn't happen. For whatever reason, the tornado sirens here just went off, and there's no... Tornado sirens? Yeah, thinking there's no... I looked at the weather, and there's no, like, tornado... It's, like, misting outside. So I'm assuming it was a false alarm, or I'm about to get wiped off the planet, and we never make it to episode 1000. So one of the... I mean... I don't see that violence has to come to you, but I would be okay with not ever doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> you know? um, so, I, I don't know. They, they just went off. My brother texted me. He's like, you hear this? I'm like, yep. So, wow. So. We're, um, we're going to get up to five inches of snow today, Brad. Congratulations. We, uh, we're probably not a tornado. Yeah. Well, if it's anything like here, then you're probably going to get some warmer weather. Like, it's actually supposed to be for yeah, February. On uh, Friday or Wednesday, sorry. Yeah, um, and my yard right now could be described as a swamp with <laughs> snow on top because like the, it's just melting like crazy. And there was well, you've got more than we've got. We probably had at least a foot on the ground total, and so now it's just all. It's the, the thing I'm worried bad. about are all the plowed banks. You know, like when yeah. you go down the end of a street or down the end of my driveway uh, and have to turn, you can't see anything. Like it's. Mm -hmm. it, it's just four feet high or something and or maybe more, I don't know, but you have to really pull out. So you're into traffic, which, you know, if you follow my Instagram feed, you know, it's dangerous in Pennsylvania because the people here can't drive to save their lives. But, um, yeah, that's the, that's the only thing like this, the, the snow on the ground is like, whatever. I mean, mm -hmm. other than the fact that we haven't been able to go down the path, we usually walk on with the dog because, you know, snowed in and whatnot. So here's an interesting question, and this came up from uh, actually Bart, and I know he. I'm pretty sure he listens to the podcast, so I don't want to take credit for his thought. Mm -hmm. um, so there was a message in the admin center that Microsoft is merging the SharePoint and OneDrive admin centers. Whatever, they, they, yeah. they've got tons of them. And then Bart asked on Twitter, he was like, "Hey, do you think this might be the end of the OneDrive for business oh. branding?" Well, I, so by the way. OneDrive for business as a brand is something Microsoft does not use for the most part, right? Mm -hmm. They just call it OneDrive. I mean, do I think the OneDrive brand's going to go away? No, not OneDrive, but like just, just literally OneDrive for business. Yeah. I feel like it already did go away. I think that's already happened. They, they, uh, they just call it OneDrive. Yeah. And that's this is the problem. They, they'll they do a tech community post. Um, mm -hmm. These are all the features coming to OneDrive. You kind of read through it and you're like, these are these only coming to commercial customers? And if you ask them, they'll say yes. Well, then why didn't you say that in the post? Mm -hmm. You know, and this is the confusion when you call commercial and uh, consumer products the same thing. Yeah. Well, I was actually thinking they might take it one step further maybe and just completely nuke it. Like not even Get rid of call... OneDrive. Well, just on the business side. So like OneDrive is purely a consumer thing. And uh, I... well, you think about it, like what is what all OneDrive is, is just SharePoint. No, I, I hear you. No, I, I, well, okay. I mean, 
I guess the question there is whether OneDrive is a better brand than SharePoint. I, I will say that you couldn't get rid of the SharePoint brand and call that OneDrive. Right. <laughs> right. So that, I guess, supports your theory. Um, if you if you had to get rid of one, it is confusing. I agree. Yeah. I mean, why do they still have Yammer? Why yeah. are the Yammer features? Isn't Yammer just part of, would it just be part of SharePoint? Well, it's all SharePoint at the end of the day. Well, Everything, I think, except Xbox <laughs> so why Live. So like, why does Yammer exist? Yeah. Well, now they've got Viva and... Why does Viva exist? Viva is like an additional name for things that already happened. Well, Viva exists because somebody realized they could put a license on top of it. (laughs) (laughs) That's That's... right. They had a licensable moment. Yeah. Somebody said, look, if we put all these things together, we can charge money. You call it something. Uh, Yeah. The reason why it's called Viva is actually they couldn't use Las Vegas because they've realized it was just a casino about who's actually going to... It was codenamed Las Vegas. Although Microsoft used the Las Vegas codename for a... I think it was a version of Visual Basic, if I'm not mistaken. Well, back there's in some the history. Day. Back in the day. There's some history for you. Not a whole lot happened this weekend, unlike the past couple where there was... No, there was not, I didn't have anything to write about. I, yeah. I didn't just give up on the weekend. It just didn't work out. There was really not much to say. So, all right. Good talking to you. Um, yeah. Happy, good, good episode <laughs> 999. That was um, an appropriate thing. I'm, I'm also curious, and I'm not going to say what I know. Um, cause I can't fully, I'm, I'm just going to throw out the word dongle and we'll see how that resonates in like a couple weeks. Dongle. Could you put that in slightly more perspective? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Not even a, okay. No, I, I'll tell you offline and then we yeah. can reminisce in, in two weeks. And You're see just if... going to say the word dongle and drop the mic. That's yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Five yeah. years after the USB-C revolution. We go back to dongle gate, something like that. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so like we kicked off the very enthusiastic show today, um, uh, tomorrow wives taking over doing the whole thing. We won't be on. I hope not. At least Are you vaguely like, nervous about this a little bit, Yeah, a little bit. I mean, like they know how to hurt us. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I can already, I, I, I've read some of the questions and I can just see mm-hmm. the laughter. Like the, you know, do you ever listen to your husband's podcast? Like, yeah, right. Yeah. I can barely stand talking to my husband. Why would I want to hear his voice <laughs> in my head when he's not around? Exactly. We've been cooped up in the house for a year. Yeah. You really yeah. think That's I want to listen to a podcast? The last thing I need is more of this guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. She probably was going to bring up that I've butchered her steaks pretty consistently. Like, I can't figure it out on this grill. Like, I even bought a thermometer. Maybe my wife bought me a thermometer. I can't remember. For Christmas. <laughs> Like you, you jam it in the meat, you look for temperature and yeah. <laughs> it's inconsistent coming off the grill. Like yesterday I undercooked it and the week before I overcooked yeah, it. You got to get a sous vide. I'm telling you. Yeah. Perfect temperature every time, whatever that is for you. If you prefer whatever, however you like your steak, just sear it in an iron pan. It takes like one minute. It is amazing. It's perfect. Yeah. It's really perfect. Everything. I just refuse to give up. See, this is the boneheaded nature of me. It's like, it's like, I should be able to figure this out. You put it on for a temperature. You're not giving up. You're, you're improving. You see, you're doing the better thing. You could sear it on the grill if you want. That's fine. It just takes a little longer. You got to heat the thing up and everything. I mean. Yeah, but I feel like I should be able to grill and not hate my life. What? You should be able to make a perfect steak. And you have you could have the technology. We do. I, maybe one day. But that, see, the problem is we're like... We're mainlining towards grilling season until the damn bugs come back. I guess we'll be grilling cicadas um, at that point. That's, you just sear it on the grill. Like the the sous vide doesn't raise the temperature in the kitchen at all. You just bring it outside, sear it, and you can eat outside, whatever. Perfect. You're perfect. That was a little too wholesome for a Monday. <laughs> a <little> too <laughs> Anyways, today's podcast was brought to you by Security Unlocked. You can find links down in the description below or go directly to the site, securityunlockedpodcast.com. Oh, that was the wrong button. Yep, that's not it. There we go. Good good episode. Dan on nine nine. That was knuckles deep in my nose. <laughs>